Hi everyone, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I'm just going to give this a go. So, I'd like to start off by revising um, isometric cubes with you. Um, if you remember, the rules to draw an isometric cube is to think that um, these, these are at 30 degree angles and what you've got to pay attention to is to create parallel lines. So all of these lines need to be parallel and the verticals need to be vertical. Uh, so once you're able to do this, it's very easy to start building and um, <coughs> improvising shapes by cutting in and adding to these blocks. So what I'm doing at the moment is uh, dividing these planes up so that I can build an ellipse. Like so. To create a cylinder. Now, that should all be revision, so what um, I plan to do with you guys is this week is to pro proceed with this idea of isometric, it, you, you guys should be able to now draw um, geometric shapes using this method. Um, and what I'd like to do is to try and use this method to visualize organic shapes. I mentioned previously about drawing birds and um, I think birds are a great um, example to use to show you what I mean. Um, So you've all seen a supermarket chicken before. I wonder if you can see this actually. No. So you can see now that the um, chicken has been contained inside an isometric rectangular prism. And so the principles of finding corresponding points from one plane to the other is still the same. If you can see that the um, ends of the drumsticks will fall in line with the angle of the box, and so should the wingtips. Now, the drawing is a little bit out, but uh, you can see that the wingtips should be from here to here, it's the other one. Yes? Um, so, I'll do that again and uh, you can watch me. And I might uh, flip it over this time so that the legs are facing down. So I've drawn a supermarket uh, chicken, you can see 
on top of the cylinder and that essentially is the basis for the bird shapes that we'll explore. If you can see it still fits in the isometric mold. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll draw a box around it so that you can see what I'm talking about but you don't necessarily need to start um, by drawing the box. This is just to demonstrate what, I'm, what I mean. Alright, so I'm going to now draw that same shape again. I'll start with a... Essentially, uh, it's an oval, but it, you can imagine it to be a loaf of bread where you've got uh, a three-dimensional kind of feel to it. So, this will then become the body of the bird. To find where the legs are, you can just feel it out like this. Um, this is the drumstick, like that. And if that's the center line and this is the center line, the other drumstick should be around that kind of position. So maybe around there. That. Now it's important to draw through the shape so that you can find the correct position. So obviously you wouldn't be able to see that in the final drawing because uh, it's going to be hidden by this side of the bird. But in order to find the position of the lower leg, you need to construct this part. So um, let's put the wings in and the wings kind of go like this. You can imagine a chicken wing shape, something like that, and on the other side, the same kind of deal. Uh, where what I'm drawing now is the contour of the neck. So if uh, the chicken was decapitated, you would see a contour of the neck here and that neck can come out uh, let's see some head shape this is not going to be a chicken anymore because it's got a neck that's too long but um, let's make it into some kind of other other kind of bird that is going to be facing backwards. So let's put the beak going this way. And shave a bit off the head here. The eye can be around here somewhere. Um, you can feel out the shape and see if this is big or small. You can kind of uh, keep adjusting the shape as you go. And uh, the leg should come down, down like this. And the other leg, you can see that I had to find that leg on the other side to be able to place this in the correct spot. Um, I don't 
don't know what kind of bird this is. It looks a bit like a gull to me. And um, if it's standing, then uh, the wings would be folded up, so you don't really need to really need you don't really need to show them. The tail plumage. Um, maybe that can flatten out a little bit too. So you can play around with the shape and of course the neck can turn around. I'll check if this is visible. Yes, it's visible. So um, I'll keep playing around and, and uh, you can keep watching. I'll, I'll uh, actually I'll talk you through some some um, angles of heads, but I don't want you to try them yet. I think what you should do is stop the video and try what I just did and then come back to it and um, keep watching after you've uh, tried this, okay? So, um, in terms of the head, if you look at a bird front on, um, and let's talk about just a generic bird, I'm, I'm not talking about any bird in particular, talking about a generic bird, you'll have this as the top of the head, the side of the head here, the beak comes around like this, you get to see a bit of the bottom like so, and then like so and then the eyes are kind of like this uh, maybe a little bit closer this looks demented anyway so the profile of the beak is kind of like there's a bit of a raised part here thing. Uh, um, so that's the profile and the three-quarter view um, you can kind of work out that uh, it would be Okay, so go and try that. Um, the the head, you know, birds are quite flexible in the neck, so that's why. Um, I mean, the top one looks a little bit funny, but um, you can you've seen birds turn their head the the completely other way around before. So this is the basic shape of a bird. Um, once you know how to do this, you can then look at pictures of birds that um, ha that live in different habitats and uh, try and um, notice what kind of adaptations that they've made for specific habitats. Um, you can try and uh, draw whatever bird you want to draw but um, don't, um, what I don't want you to do is to find pictures and then copy the pictures. What I'd like you to do is try and construct the bird like I've constructed this, this uh, seagull or whatever it is. 
Um, so think about it as a simplified structural shape that you start off with the bulk of the body like a loaf of bread and then you think about where the legs and the wings are placed. The pixels should be used to give you an idea of proportion so um, i.e. how big the legs are compared to the body and how short the neck is or how long the neck is etc and also the pictures should be used to refer to any kind of patterning or color that the uh, bird should have so uh, I'd like you guys to just practice this for the now for a few times so that you get comfortable with the idea of um, visualizing you know fairly complex shapes in three dimensions um, and then what you should be doing is being hyper aware of the correct placements of things so you should know roughly what birds look like from just being alive and um, looking at stuff so if the bird that you've drawn looks a little bit odd try and figure out what it is that is making it look odd i.e. are the legs not in the right place are the legs proportionately too big compared to the body um, is the neck in the right place is the head the correct size so all of these things um, fall within a range of possibilities and so it's up to you to draw something and look at it and see if it fits within that range and um, that's only doable if you are happy to obliterate what you've done and draw over the top and continue to to draw over the top until something feels right so i recommend starting out light um, very very lightweight i've been using the 8b pencil and um, go from there okay bye